Hey guys! Thank you for checking out this video. My name is George. In this video, we will learn on how to use the 8x8 dot matrix display. Dot matrix display is a two-dimensional array of LEDs that is used to represent a character, an icon, or an image. It is used to display information on machines such as clock, counter, and many others requiring simple display. What I have here is a single 8x8 dot matrix display module from Gorilla Cell Development Kit. It uses a MAX7219 driver chip which simplifies interfacing with the dot matrix and uses SPI serial interface as a communication protocol. For this experiment, you will also be needing of an ESP32 development board which I already attached at the top of Gorilla Cell ESP32 shield, an 8x8 dot matrix display which uses SPI interface as a communication protocol. You will also be needing of a 5 pin female to female DuPont jumper wires. I already attached the DuPont jumper wires but it basically follows a color coding which is black for the ground, red for the VCC, yellow for the DIN, white for the clock pin, and blue for the chip select pin. We are not going to use the other side of pins because this one is used when you need to connect more than one that matrix display. I already attached the wires on the ESP32 shield which uses GPIO23 for the data in, GPIO19 for the clock in, and GPIO18 for the chip select in. And I also power the ESP32 shield with external power supply with USB Type-C connector and connected the ESP32 to my computer using a micro USB cable. Now for the software part, let us have an external driver library for the Max 7219 to easily interface with this display. Thankfully, Jeff Brown posted on his GitHub. So what you can do is copy this max7219.py to your MicroPython root directory or you may copy it from the companion blog post for this tutorial. Links will be posted in the video description. I already have it in my computer here, this one. So to save this to the ESP32 root directory, Click the file menu, select save as, select MicroPython device, and save it as max7219.py and click OK. Now you can see that the max7219 is available under the MicroPython device. If you cannot see this, I will just close it to demonstrate. Click the view menu, select files, and you can see the MicroPython device here. I have here a two example source code for this demonstration. So for example number one, we will explore the basics of how to use this display. So let me click the run current script button to execute this program. And now you can see a capital letter displayed in the dot matrix. To clear the display, oh, let's use this. Let's increase the brightness of the display. Let's use 15. 
And let's click the stop button. And run current script. And as you can see, the dot matrix now display a more brighter color. To clear the display, we can use display dot fill and zero and enter. Display dot fill one more and display that show and the display is cleared we can also try scrolling message this one so to do that we can send a display that marquee let's say hello from back to tinker and hit OK. And the display is scrolling. Hello from back to Inker. There are other graphic primitives here, but I will not go through it. Because these are basics similar to the graphic primitives used in the OLED display. So let me click the stop button to stop the example number one. And let's go to example number two. The example number two basically display a counter which counts up. And after that, it will count down. So it will count up from 0 to 9. Then it will count down back to 0. So let me click the run current script. And it will count up. So that's all for now. I hope you learned something from this. As always, the source code that is in here, including additional information, can be found at my blog post at techdotinker.blogspot.com. Links in the video description. I would like to hear from you. Comment down below what other application you will use at that matrix display. And if you enjoyed this video, please do like and share this to your friends so that it can reach more people who might benefit from this. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you will be notified when a fresh video like this is uploaded. Thank you for watching and see you next time. God bless!